so doing my review for Wastelands, so far I have enjoyed the game. I played both 1 and 2, and I typically like games like this predominantly because you get a lot of replay value. Most games nowadays are going for roughly about $60. Maybe if you're lucky, you might get into an indie game that's very similar to this. I usually pay around $40 for but for this game, for Wastelands 3, you're really getting some really solid gameplay. One of the things I like about this, of course, you can always go back into the game, or change the way that you've played the game, run different setups, run different group compositions to basically clear throughout different maps throughout the game. Of course, you get um, the characters in the game, that there's a lot of uh, in-depth in depth to the characters you kind of get to know the characters their personalities uh, most of the characters are typically fully voiced over in games like this which of course is one of the things i love so it really allows you to get immersed into games like this that tape uh, that, that top down combat uh, strategy type of games that many of you may be out there are looking for something to something to fill the gaps uh, in between your times for me i typically enjoy a lot of doing a lot of mmo gameplay really isn't a lot in terms of the MMO space that's out there at this time, New World is kind of a little bit of a disappointment for me. So currently, I'm filling my time basically playing New World, uh, playing Wastelands 3. One of the things, of course, I like about it, there's a lot of customizations. If you go ahead and you run, basically start up a new game, you have the option. There's four different difficulties that you can choose from. If you're brand new to these type of games, you've got your kind of a little bit more an easy difficulty with friendly fire off. You've got your first two kind of steps up to the normal gameplay, and those those who are used to kind of these strategy type of games um you've got both your ranger with your your hard combat difficulty with friendly fire and then of course there's always some sort of an extreme mode within these games that you have the option of just ricky ridiculous amounts of damage not friendly at all not even remotely friendly it even says it here not even remotely fair and of course friendly fire is on so you'd go ahead and let's say you want to start up a new game select this difficulty i've played multiple games i played both one and two of wastelands i've enjoyed both of them i would like i said currently i'm just in the middle of clearing uh wastelands three a little bit in the beginning of the game but i'm liking what i see so far every monster was a man at first I'm gonna go ahead and just skip that and of course at the very very beginning of the game you have the opportunity to pick two people there's different sort of backgrounds that you can choose from if you want a character uh, that basically the weapon types that you want to use in the very beginning of the game you can have like your field medic you have your trooper so you have a little bit of customization at the very beginning with many of these preset characters you can see what what sort of skills that they specialize in what's their background whether they have some sort of a quirk or not uh, so basically allows you to choose that or you can of course go right in and do your own customization for the characters which gives you a little bit of freeness if you're very familiar with uh, the customization features in games like this then i would say go right ahead and start your own sort of custom character if you're new to the genre then go right ahead and pick some of the more friendly easier to use up front they're designed a little bit more for new players who are not really familiar with customizations my first through i did go with one of the uh custom I, I basically went with the very first ones with the trooper and the combat medic and i'm, I'm enjoying the gameplay for my second playthrough i'm definitely going to go in with a sort of custom custom spec now that i've gone through it i kind of have a little bit more of, of an understanding of what's expected where the limitations are sometimes uh, you have to kind of fully flesh out the type of composition that you want to work with you've got up to six different characters that you can choose to utilize within your group um, four of them are typically rangers and then you have two other uh, playable characters that are non-ranger that you'll either find in the universe or of course that you can hire throughout the game I really do like Wastelands 3. I've been streaming it for the past couple of days. I would definitely recommend it. If you can't afford the full full price tag of about 60 bucks, maybe you'll be able to catch it later on in the future on sale. Either way, it, it will definitely provide you with a lot of hours of gameplay that there's typically, like I say, you, you kind of get your money's worth. A lot of games these days, you really don't get your money's worth. You'll play it for a couple of hours here and there. Maybe it takes you, you know, five, six, or maybe you get 10 hours. Typically with games like this, you'll get hours and hours and hours where you're able to play through the game 
run it with different sort of specs do it on the extreme maybe do like an all melee or an all range multiple snipers or build some sort of like an upfront tank sort of character it's one of the things i love about games like th these is the immense amount of customization that of course leads to hours and hours of gameplay which is typically what i what i look for i would wholeheartedly recommend if you haven't had the opportunity to check out wastelands 3 i would definitely check it out and feel free of course to check me out on twitch as i'll be streaming this of course for the next couple of weeks waiting for some new games or some new rpgs to come out as there really isn't anything of course at this time that's really occupying my time and in my free time i do enjoy gaming so of course this is a game that i could definitely recommend to my viewers. Thanks for watching and I'll check you out next time.